Hi, welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. So in this video, <coughs> we'll consider the type four of uh, partial fractions, those with denominators containing repeated quadratic factors. You recover that the, you recall that the last one we did, we looked at the uh, partial fractions with denominators containing uh, distinct uh, quadratic factors. So here now you have quadratic factors that cannot be factorized into linear ones and um, yet they are repeated. So how do we express them into partial fractions? So let's let's begin solution. All right, so what do we do here? Now remember just as what we have under linear factors, if you have repeated factors in your denominator, so what you're going to have is like now this factor is repeated two times that square so that means our partial fraction is going to contain two smaller fractions so the only difference here is that since you have quadratic factors as a denominator then your numerator is going to be linear polynomial so here we're going to have ax plus b all over x squared plus one so you take one of the factors here as your denominator and then the second one is then going to be cx plus d all over now you will take the whole of this which is x squared plus one squared so just as we did under linear factors okay so if you've gotten this the next thing now is to quickly uh, try to look for our constant a b c and D. and now the best thing to do here is just to first of all get our identical polynomials which is going to be 4x squared plus 2x plus 1 to be identical to the numerator here which is ax plus b all multiplied by this is going to cancel 1 and so you're going to have x squared plus 1 here then plus the numerator here which is cx plus d and this is going to cancel so you just have one here left okay so this is our identical polynomials and so to solve for our a b c and d the very best thing to do here is to use that first method which is to open up the brackets and compare coefficients okay so if we do that we're going to have that this is equivalent to ax times x squared will give us ax cubed ax times 1 is ax and then we go to b b times x squared is bx squared and b times 1 is b and then we bring down the cx plus d so here we'll collect like terms and to do that we are going to have that this is equivalent to ax cubed is on its own now the x uh, variable here there are two so we bring them together into okay first of all we bring the squared which is bx squared and then we now bring this remember there are two so we take them into a bracket a plus c and bring out the x so that's factorizing and then we bring down the constant which is b plus d okay so at this point we'll then try to compare our the coefficients on both sides and to do this we begin with the one with s cube okay so for x cube you can quickly see that there is no s cube on the left hand side so the implication is that the our the coefficient there is zero so our a is equal to zero so this implies that a is zero and then the very next one the coefficient of x squared on the right hand side is b on the left hand side is two that sorry is four so that means our b is equal to four and then this other coefficient a plus c is equal to we can see here our a plus c is equal to that's the coefficient of x on this side that means it will be equal to two here so but we already have our a as zero and since our a is 0, it means that c is equal to 2. Okay, and finally, um, what do we do next? You can see here now that the constant, which is b plus d, is going to be the constant on the left-hand side, which is 1. 
and what is our b our b is 4 so we have 4 plus d sorry is equal to 1 4 plus d is equal to 1 therefore our d is equal to 1 minus 4 and that is minus 3 okay so if you bring all of this together uh, maybe we can do that somewhere here if we bring all of this together into our our this uh, fraction here so we are going to have that our fraction given to us is equal to a times x and our a is 0 so 0 times x is 0 then our b is 4 so we are going to have 4 all over x squared plus 1 then plus our c is uh, 2 2 times x is 2x then our d is minus 3 so we we'll have minus 3 all over x squared plus 1 all squared and that is uh, the required solution to this problem so whenever we are given any um, fraction and we are asked to you know to put them into partial fraction and we have repeated quadratic roots so you recall that once the root is repeated or sorry the factors in the denominator is repeated so you would have to have the number of uh, partial fractions to the power of that uh, denominator since we have two here it means that you are supposed to have two partial fractions and so you split them taking one of those root uh, factors and then the second one will have the denominator as the power of what you have so and then if you have power three here it means that this is going to go to the third and then you have the denominator as x squared plus one or raised to the power of three okay and so that's where we are going to end it for this video um kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and we will see you in our next video bye